are in Aris Park this morning. We are hoping to find some white-tailed eagle perches. Um, where we're staying in Tobermory is close to a harbour and the birds like to eat the fish from the harbour and the fishermen have been feeding them fish for centuries. So this forestry, Aras Park, is near Tobermory um, so it's on coastline and it's got lots of trees where obviously eagles like to perch so hopefully we'll be lucky and find, find them. I'm going to be trying out my new gimbal head today. I've got everything in my bag and it's so heavy but it's got to be done. The gimbal just offers me a chance to get a smooth shot because my lens is quite heavy. This is a telephoto so it's difficult to hold the camera steady whilst filming and on a tripod it's kind of hard to move it smoothly. So the gimbal would just allow me to easily follow hopefully an eagle or any bird that I'm filming. So we found a nice little space down here by the water's edge. So here is perfect because we've got a, a nice view of Tomori over here, just behind me there, with the harbour, and then you've got obviously open water for the fish. I kind of like to stay close to the tree line, just so I'm a bit more secluded, not, not as obvious even though I'm wearing a lime green jumper. Wrong. So we didn't see any eagles. So we are going to move on. Just have a, a little look around other locations. So, um, just following Dave Sexton now in the car. Take, be taking me to a few different places where the eagle, he knows the eagle is. So far we haven't seen one yet, but hopefully we will see one soon. So um, I'm just driving back now from watching the eagles. Uh, the third location that Dave took me to, Loch Nakiel, uh, he showed me where they're nesting. I did see them after waiting for a while, they did finally come back to the tree, however the view I had of them was so far away, um, I, don't, I just don't know if it would be useful in my film, but it's good to know now that on the second day we have a location where they can be seen. So he said that often they do catch fish over the water, and sometimes they are on rock in the middle of the water which was a bit closer than that tree that I was shooting just then. So I'm just going to come back tomorrow. Um, I was going to meet the farmer David tomorrow but there's no ferries back to the mainland so I have a free day then tomorrow to come back here. Uh, I'm also going to put the teleconverter on onto the lens. That just makes it zoom in a bit further. It does lower the quality a bit though so we'll have to see but I did get a few shots then of it um, of the, the female flying in and the male. You appreciate how difficult it is to make a wildlife film. Um, I'm really thankful now that I have booked into film Rock Sound Eagles and that I also have for example Atlantis, the white tailed eagle at the Bird of Prey Centre that I can film because you can't get close to these eagles, you just can't. Unless you've got a really big lens and you're really lucky, you're not going to be getting close to them and that's, that's the one thing I have realised since being here. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to really short 
short my film down and just focus on getting b-roll of other things, other animals as well, not just white tailed eagle, which I have been doing. I've been fo uh, filming like the crows, hunted crows. You know, there's hope yet. I would love to get a shot of an eagle catching a fish. That would be, that would be the best. So we're back at the nest site now, which is just in those trees behind us. Um, we were just watching the eagle perch for a while, um, and then she flew off somewhere over there, in those mountains. Uh, I tried to get a good shot, but sadly, I didn't manage to get a very good one. Um, I tried using the teleconverter to zoom in a bit because she was really far away. But then this teleconverter just made it the folk the the quality really bad when I was filming. So I did get an all right shot, but it was a bit wobbly. And like I said, the teleconverter just makes it really hard to focus. And when you do focus, it's like the quality just isn't good. So I've taken the teleconverter off now, and hopefully she'll come back now. There must be one on the nest now, so. They will be doing a changeover at some point. She must have gone off to get some food. So I've just got to be prepared for her to come back now. It would be really nice if she catches a fish in the loch in front of us. Here. <sighs> but it's just a waiting game now. So we just saw the eagle. Um, she flew out and onto a sheep carcass on the hill. So I managed to get a shot of that, but when she flew off, the panic got to us, and someone was talking to us, and so we missed, we missed her flying, which is a really annoying again. So we're just hoping now that she's going to come and land on her favourite tree. If she doesn't. Um, then we're probably going to move on, just see what else we can see, and maybe come back later then for sunset. We're going to move on now because she's had a big feed, so the assumption is she's going to just be sitting in the tree for ages now. Um, the male, I think, must be somewhere else, or he's on the nest, I'm not sure. So we're just going to go over to the other side of the loch, see if we'll see any anything else. We've been told there's golden eagles over there too, and we saw an otter earlier, so that would be nice to see. There are some rocks over there as well where Dave said that the eagle does often perch on, so if we're in luck today, that's what will happen. So we've come here now um, by some open water near a fishery in hope that we will see a white-tailed eagle catch fish. At this point, I'm thinking it's quite unlikely, but you gotta try. There's the fishery over there. We've been really lucky with the weather, um, so I'm thankful for that, because usually this part of the world is drizzly and rainy and that would have just been more difficult to film. Chilling in the area where Griff saw the eagles yesterday for a while now. Um, we saw 
two male hen, hen harriers and a female hen harrier and a buzzard so that was really nice first first hen harrier ever um but we're gonna move on now we're gonna go to loch freezer and just see what's happening over there so we were sitting on that hill just over there at the end of this loch but we've moved now because we were seeing no eagles so we are in a new place today we recently moved to our second airbnb in Benesson. so the airbnb host told me that there are lots of eagles there's three nesting pairs nearby um that in fact there was some flying over the airbnb two days ago so it's promising news um, he, the host told me about this place called Skur and also did Dave Sexton um, Loch Asapol which is where we are now and in those trees over there oh my god what's that geese wait there's an eagle fuck okay so we just saw an eagle chasing geese over the of the loch so so happy right now so we just saw the eagle chasing geese across the loch that was amazing first pop bit of eagle action i've seen ever really um griff managed to get a video of it as well chasing the geese which is so good we're just watching it now sitting in a tree i don't know if you can see on there and hopefully i'm not gonna miss it fly out which I've done every time. So the eagle has been flying around a lot, which is so good. This is the most eagle action we've had this whole trip. So we're so happy now. We've probably found a good place. Um, I think it's looking for some food. So it's been flying out and about a lot. It's currently sitting in the lock. So we're thinking tomorrow we're gonna come back down really early for dawn and we're gonna go a bit further down there so we're a little bit closer obviously don't want to get too close because we don't want to disturb if they have got a nest up there but we do need to be a bit closer than this so earlier we were just in the airbnb and griff was outside luckily and he spotted the both the eagles flying over there, Airbnb. So we're re we're located really cl close to the loch with Amelia. Our really successful day yesterday we are back again we did try and walk down there to get closer to the lock but it was just a bit felt like we were intruding on the eagle and it was getting really marshy as well and i don't know we just felt a bit um a bit bad about doing that so we came back here so we're in this nice little bit by a tree nice and hidden uh so we are about 40 yards closer so it's not that much closer but i got a teleconvert today remember to bring it so if if the eagle comes back i'll definitely be getting a closer shot which is the aim of the game because so far they've always been so far away it was a really good day yesterday Especially when um, we saw the eagle coming over our Airbnb. That was awesome. So we just got, we've got a good place now. Here and where we're staying is a good place to see them. So we just got to hope that, hope the one of them comes back. So nothing this morning here. So we just 
Our Airbnb is literally over that mountain there. So we are close to the nest site anyway. So we're just going to go back, do a bit of editing and just wait there and hopefully they'll fly over, fly over again. We can get some nice shots going then from the decking. Seems like the best option right now. And then we're going to go to Iona later, see what other cool things we can film. So no eagles today, sadly, but that's okay. We got, I got lots of work done. Um, Ed did a little video and also had a phone call with Roxanne about um, filming her eagles on Friday. So I'm glad I figured that out. Um, we've just been on a walk now, hoping maybe we'll get a glimpse of the eagle again, but not not really betting on it. It's been really still day to day, no wind at all, so I'm not really surprised that they're not flying about. But he, we're here right now, which is the beach near where we're staying, and it's so pain. Yuskin Beach, I think. So quiet, apart from that motorbike I can hear. Yeah. So didn't manage to vlog yesterday. Um, it's quite a busy day yesterday. We met up with Tom Campbell, who is a freelance videographer for things like BBC Earth, BBC Spring Watch, and he um, met us at Loch Nakiel with the nesting pair are near Tobermory. He brought with him his FS7 and 600 millimeter. Sony lens which also had a crop sensor so I had a chance to use this awesome equipment and the eagle flew out of the nest right over our heads really close as well so it was awesome he also had a really good tripod so unlike my gimbal which I've been really struggling to film with um, so I'm re really reconsidering what type of equipment I need to get uh, he, his tripod had a lot of fluid in, so it had a lot of drag, so it wasn't like fast, it was like really slow, so I was able to track the birds a lot easier, uh, so that was really cool to use, and he's going to send that footage to me um, when he gets the time, so I've definitely got a nice, good close-up, good quality shot of a white tail eagle flying. Uh, today we are just on the Isle of Iona, just with our cameras, no tripods, just seeing what we can photograph, just having a chill day, because been going full out all week and for two weeks now we're just absolutely shattered currently sitting in the hermit cell which is pretty cool